Get that guy. I hate missing people. Everybody have a card? Okay. Sure. It's not a pamphlet, but you can now look it up. If the earth is flat and then it's, and nothing's rotating, if it's not rotating, then how do we explain like this day and night? Oh, that's easy. Oh, thank God this is. All right. Can you come over to my banner? Excuse me. So right here you see the sun only illuminates part of it at one time. It's so small and close, it does not cover the whole earth at one time. Mm -hmm. So it moves around in a circle and it goes from the Tropic of Cancer, which is our summer, and now it's moving down towards the Tropic of Capricorn. Now, Capricorn on a globe is much smaller. Did somebody take my globe? Come on, you guys. Let's. Oh, it's right here on my arm. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. So, down here on a globe, the Tropic of Capricorn is about the same size as the Tropic of Cancer. But if it's a flat surface, then the Tropic of Capricorn has to be much, much larger. So, how does that happen when the sun has to get around in the same 24-hour period? The sun has to move faster. And it does. When you are below or outside of the equator, the sun moves faster. If you know anybody down in, in uh, Australia or down like South Africa, I have a friend in South Africa, they will tell you the sun goes so fast across the sky you can watch it move. And there's no twilight, it just disappears very quickly. So start talking to people across the world. You know, you on the internet, you can talk to anybody you want, anywhere. So start asking questions. Start making friends across the world and talk to them about these things. I want your cards. I gotta go to class. Oh yeah, I need a card. I'm sorry. What do you What do you know? What do you know about What did you go to school for? Okay. Yes. I have a business degree and finance and marketing, okay? My father was a math teacher and he flew off the aircraft carriers. He was a pilot. Okay? My, my son is a physics major. He does all these math problems in his head. I homeschooled my kids. I taught my son algebra one. So did you teach your kids that the earth is flat? They're all grown up now and they know I do this, but I'm going to let them come to it on their own. I don't force it on anybody. So your kids are no kids are smart. Stop okay. I be for real, stop. Go ahead. You want to take a picture? Go ahead. Sure, okay. Think about it though. The education system with how kids are taught hey, Josh, never been changed. Don't get fresh. Updated, Watch it. They're taught all taught to believe the same thing for the past, since that with the education system. <laughs> okay. All right, you're welcome. So, does anybody have an intelligent question? No. I didn't think so. Did you all get one of these? Hey, weren't you the guy in there yelling at me? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it is round, like a pizza. No, it's round. And Antarctica is the crust. It goes around the outside edge. Does it explain to me why, if we're flat, why is the sun not constantly shining all over the country? Because it it's very small. It's very small. It's very small, and it only illuminates a certain amount at one time. Like right there. Over there. Number 143. And all those numbered blocks coincide with the video you will find here. Did everybody nah, get one? We good. Nah, that sounds big like that. No, ask a smart question, like something that you really think about, like curvature. Why don't you tell me where's the curvature? Why don't you tell me that? Show me the curve. Exactly. Show it to me. You see the curve. <laughs> if you can find curvature. <laughs> you see the curve. That is a level. It is not supposed to go. I'm sorry. Get up on top of the building a little over there. It's a curve. It's a curve, bro. Look at that.
You can look this up. Oh, the earth's not flat. It is. It's a it's a the government, That's though. the earth. Yeah, now there's something called a fisheye lens or a wide angle lens. Exactly. Now listen. Did everybody see Did everybody see that Red Bull commercial? The Red Bull commercial. Do you remember that? Did you see that? Did you Did you see the Red Bull commercial? Yes. Okay. Did you watch when he opened the door? Yeah. When he opened the door, they have a regular lens camera inside and it's flat. But when he goes outside, there's a wide angle lens and that's curved. It's also a commercial. Oh no, bro, like run uh, energy drink. All right. So then so then don't show me don't show me pictures from NASA that are really images. They have to call them images because they aren't pictures. Wait, what? What? That's the same thing. They're the same thing. Uh, no, they are not. No, they are not. So you're saying images, pictures, spheres, round, and circle all have No, Robert, uh, Robert Simmons, he works at NASA, and he will tell you that they have to be composite. He takes, he takes uh, strips and glues them together. He cannot get a full picture. Now, why is that? Why is because that? Is we, have, we have... We don't have a camera big enough to take a picture of the Earth like Did that. you ever see the picture of the Earth from the moon? Yes. Yes. There's pictures yes. everywhere. Yeah, there's pictures okay. everywhere. Have you seen me How big it... Stop terrible. talking and listen. Are they... Did you ever get the whole picture of the Earth in that? Hold you back? Then I think you need to move on. If you cannot control yourself, then you cannot stand here. Okay. I will take any intelligent question. Did you get one? All right. My question is. Yes. Yes, my guy. Why? What's the point of them lying to us about the Earth being round instead of flat? Okay. Tell me what you know about the model today. What do we have today? How is our Earth made? And what do they call that? Come on, there's a TV show called The Big Bang Theory. I love that show, but... I know, but it's a funny show. It's a funny show. I like it. So, we, this was all a random event. The globe is a random event. Okay, so the flat earth is a flat plane, and there's a dome over the top. <laughs> and that had to be created by somebody or something. Okay. Okay, so there's two different models here. Actually, the one thing I'm still worried or Opposite. confused about is why? Why? What, what's the point of the whole flat thing? Like, why, why would the government... Okay. Why would anyone lie about the Earth just being... Okay, first off, flat? first off, let me tell you something. You go find curvature. If you can find curvature... You have to determine if they're telling the truth or if they're lying. Okay. When you go into, if you're a detective and you go in and you see somebody was murdered, don't you have to gather the evidence first? Exactly. Okay, so gather the evidence and then determine if this was a murder or a suicide or what it was. So, so if we do reach the edge of that circle, what would happen? There's a wall. 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 So that it changes seasons. No, that's not what changes seasons. Well, what changes seasons? On the ball, I know the ball better than you do, uh, and this is something that you say that you know that you like. Well, you I believe mean, my, in it. This this rules your world, and and you don't even know that. My so, father is a science of Earth science. My okay, a that, and you science. don't know this. Come on! She's gonna try to make you feel bad. I'll tell you what's flat. This woman's perspective. <laughs> Let's talk about perspective. Right there. Right there. There. 
Here, here, right here is perspective. Let's talk about perspective. Sure, let's talk about perspective. Here's what I think. The Earth is on a round table. No, 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 no
everybody should look up look up the Federal Reserve System and realize what that's doing. You are going to be going somewhere and dying to install a bank. A central bank. That's why they're killing our good boys. All of our good men are dying for a bank. The military is being central to middle, sent to the Middle East to install central banks. It's, it's nothing to do with anything of, to our, of our interests. And I don't want our good men to be killed. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody else? What's up with gravity? Wait, why don't you believe in gravity? In uh, what? Gravity theory proved false. What, what? I don't think. Where does that say that? Gravity theory. Oh, yeah, gravity is a theory. Gravity is a theory. So I don't think that. See, all right, here's the here's a test for gravity. This will prove gravity is wrong. If gravity exists, there would be no natural flat places on Earth. Did you know that the Bonneville salt flats, I believe that gra things fall. I agree that things fall. And there is a rate, and you can put a formula on it, but it's not being pulled down. Bonneville salt flats was uh, formed by a great salt lake that dried up. Yeah, guys, why do you think if the salt excuse me, oh, if the Great Salt Lake that dried up to make the Bonneville salt flats was curved, then the salt flats would be also curved. And it's not; it's a flat. There's also Lake Baikal in the Siberia that's 400 miles long and it's flat. The ice that gets on there is like a sheet of glass. And there's also Silar de Uni in Bolivia, where they take all those famous pictures, where the sky looks like it's reflected and you look like you're walking in the middle of the air. That's, if there's an inch of rain, there's an inch all over the entire area, 100 miles by 80 miles. So you have to look these things up and ask yourself these questions. Why is that? What could possibly do that? There is no gravity or there would be no salt flats. Let me ask you, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do, do you mean uh, uh, the earth not moving? Is it salt the earth moving? does not move, correct. The By earth, these experiments think, right there, oh, they think, prove it does not move. You think the, the earth is not moving? The earth does not move. The sun and the moon move around the top of us. and. And this is another one, right here. The star trails, they move above us. The stars move, the earth does not. Really? Yes, if you look into this, you'll study it. Good idea, good idea. You'll be much smarter if you look into it. You can't help but be much smarter by looking into it. Do you want a card? Don't ever be afraid of the evidence. A true scientist will never reject evidence without looking at it. So if you want to think you're a scientist, you got to look at this. I'm sorry. Can I have a pamphlet, please? Sure. Sure. I had to wear gloves, it's so cold today. What did you... I'm sorry? Why are we being told that it's round? Well, that's easy. Big Bang Theory says nothing exploded, and yet all this material was just randomly... Random is the word. Randomly out into space, and friction made everything into a ball, right? And somehow, these little amoebas or bacteria just randomly turned into human beings over millions and millions of years. Randomly. Okay? So, you know what? The way evolution was taught over the years has changed. The only thing that evolves is the theory of evolution. Because <laughs> when I was at school, they taught it exactly as I explained it to you. Okay? So, when people get smarter, and the internet has been a great blessing to humanity, because we can find information at our fingertips and we can learn from each other. 
and that has been a great, great help to us. Okay, so everything is random with this Big Bang. But if you have a flat plane with a dome over it, that had to be created by somebody or something. You figure that out yourself. So if we, if the Earth was created, so were we. We were put there. So that means something totally different than randomness, doesn't it? It's not random. It's a process. Why does government? Okay, that's easy. The kings, the kings never wanted their servants to read. Why is that? Do you know? Why don't the kings want the servants to read? Because a, an educated people are hard to control. This is all about control. If they can make us feel like we're stupid, and it, don't the president say, oh, I'm so smart, I'm so smart, I'm a Rhodes Scholar, and that, what does that mean? We're dumb? I don't think so. <laughs> if you're stupid, you're going to just submit and you're going to do what they say. If they, so why isn't this all being erased? Why aren't you being hunted down for this? Who says we're not? Well, I'm asking you, are you? You're currently here in a public speech. Yeah. Are you? I mean, I'm, I'm here on freedom of speech. And are there you are. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to be here on freedom. Are you afraid? Like, say afraid? Yeah. Uh, I had to make a decision. I had to make a decision that if it ever came to that, I would do this despite. I have a, I come from a military family. Do you, uh, anybody know any military people? As soon as they sign up, they know that there's a possibility they could be killed. You have to make that decision. How, how important is truth to you? Okay, if you are standing on lies, you're standing on sinking sand. The only way you can be true is if you stand on solid ground. That's what truth is, a solid ground. Okay? If, if you want to be controlled, if you want to work for nothing, if you want to know if your kids are your own, now a woman is different, but a man, you know. So truth matters, guys. Truth matters. Truth matters. Truth is important. It matters. Everybody get one? So where do you get your truth from? Like, what did How you make your truth? What's did you your source? <laughs> we have a curvature formula. No, I mean, where did you, like, study all this? Like, how did this pop in? I studied this on my own. And I have, there's a... Did you go to, like... There's a huge... <laughs> like, is there an institution? There's a huge community. There's uh, millions of flat earthers worldwide. And if you study this and figure it out that it's true, then you'll be a flat earther too. Do you have any background in like any of the? I have a four-year college degree in business. My dad was a math teacher. I understand these concepts. Do you believe in this? Does the rest of your family believe in this stuff? No, that doesn't matter. No. No. What's the source of this? Well, I would like to hope I did. When I was up at Reading Community College last week, there was three people there that are definitely under this. I met I met one here, I think. Do you guys have a question? No, man. Because you just you put down the Mars rover, which is like you have no evidence that it's fake. And you have no evidence that it's true. All you have is we have statistical. All you have is little pictures and videos. No, data? You mean so you mean paper? Somebody wrote something on paper and you believe that it's true? That multiple people confirmed about. Yeah? yeah? Then you live that way. You believe I that you. and live you live way. that way. You got That's you. Right. You got yourself. Yep. <laughs> you do that. You you do you science is our modern day science is really a religion because none of it can be proven. So that's your religion. The ball religion. That's what you believe. How long have you been doing? Like how long have you been studying? I got my first set of banners. This is my second set of banners. The first set I got about um, I think it was March of this year. Then I started going out and teaching it. We go we go down to Ocean City. We've been there three times. We've been to Times Square, New York. 
I've been to Temple University. I've been to Penn State in Abington. I've been to Stockton University. Been to Montgomery County Community College. I don't know, guys. You got to look into it. Everybody get a card. You can look it up yourself at home. Did you get that? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Weren't you the one that said, who laughed at me and said I was stupid? No. No, that was me. Oh, that he's was good. you? He's good. Oh, he's good. Okay. I'll take credit for it. All right. <laughs> Anybody have an intelligent question? Have I been on a what? I used to date a pilot who owned an airport. I've been in a helicopter. We flew in helicopters. You know where I flew? Over top of the Limerick Towers. The Limerick, uh, they call it nuclear. I don't think nuclear exists, but yeah, that was an awesome flight. They were not operating at the time. And you feel like you're going over the abyss. It was like, oh, wow. You know where else? He took me up to, uh, there was a ski resort, the uh, Blue, Blue Mountain or something, Blue Mountain, Blue and he knew the elevation. And I said, well, where are we going? I said, don't you think we ought to go a little higher? We're pretty close to this mountain. And he, we went up there. He must have been 10 feet off the, off the ski lift. And everybody like, what? And the snow was billowing. It was so much fun. I have this. So what was your question? Oh, that was it. I was just wondering how long you were doing it. Was I ever in a plane? Did you ask me that? Yeah. Like, um, what, what do you think of the curvature of Earth from, like... Okay, we, we recently got a guy who went in a plane and did infrared photography. And he got over a thousand miles. So that is awesome. You got to look into this. It's so fascinating, the science behind it. I mean, we got some guys doing some really fascinating work. Yeah, I should have gotten the sun, but it's awesome. This is really awesome stuff. This is not a chance. Hi, did you get one? Yeah. You said that. So, uh, yes, sir. So why does your keychain have a curvature? Because I have to demonstrate the curvature formula. If it goes out, it has to drop. No matter where you are, no matter where you're standing on this globe, you're on top of the world. Everything has to go down from there. Okay, so that's why I carried us around. So I'm confused. Like, you know that building in Dubai? Like, that tallest building? Yeah. Like, so what's the, like... Yeah. Like, what do you think about that picture of them? Like, is it... Yeah. Wide-angle lens. But, like, multiple people have been up there and taken that. Yeah. Place, so. Well, there's a couple of things that can be factors in that. First off, you can only see so far. Yeah. So your, your field of vision is a circle, right? Now, we've been told since we were five years old that then this was sitting on the teacher's desk that we live on a globe. Yeah. So when we see something like this, we think, oh, that must be the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. Because we don't know what we're looking at, really. We really don't know the true meaning of what we're seeing. And when you study perspective, this is perspective here. You know those railroad tracks continue, but you can't see it. It's a vanishing point, vanishing line with the horizon. So you got to study that. It took me two weeks studying that to get it in my head. Yeah. You have to understand what you're looking at. You don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have a question. Okay. So I have a friend who's a sniper. Now, he takes long range shots. Did you get we're one? We're talking. No, not yet. Thank you. He's taking shots over a mile. He has to adjust for the curvature of the earth and yeah. how it rotates. Can you explain that? Yeah, I don't believe it. You don't believe that bullets? No. Nope. No, nope, because there's. Uh, I've seen sniper documents, the, the manual, the training manual. It's not in there. Not in there? No, it's not. You don't have to do that. They could tell you something. But it really is something else. So he so adjusting for curvature of the Earth is nothing more than this. When it's going away from you, it's like that. Yes. It's not Coriolis effect or any of that. So it's just like a matter. Of, the bullet will drop. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't believe in gravity that we're being pulled down to the Earth. I think we're being pushed down. I do know there's a rate of fall, and you have a formula for that. Yes. But I don't think it's a pull. I think it's a push by diamagnetism and we live inside a torus field. Did you get one? Uh, no, actually. 
Okay. Question. What about uh, architects who have to build long bridges? Such okay, as Okay, how bridge? long is Manhattan? I'm not sure. Okay, it's, it's more than a mile. So that would mean that the buildings at one end of Manhattan and the buildings at the other, their tops would have to be farther apart than the bottoms, right? It's not happening. It's not happening. Sure. Okay, you got to, like, think about these things. How can you prove it to yourself? Don't just go on what anybody says. Prove it to yourself. Think for yourself. What is the... Uh Gleason's Flat Earth Map, because that's my last name, and I just want to know. Oh, is it? Cool. Very cool. Did you know that, are you related to Jackie Gleason? No. <laughs> Wish I was. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this is the Gleason's Map. It's, it was in the Boston, well, I think it's still in the Boston's Library. Okay. Uh, 1746 or something. Anyway, yeah, that's the Flat Earth Map. North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around. Who's the guy that, who's the oldest person? No. I would think it would be a man. Not many women did stuff like that back then. Right. So it had to have been a man. Anybody need a card? I have a question. So if you believe that the Earth is flat, does that mean all the other planets are flat too? No. The only thing we know about planets is that they're a circle, a two-dimensional object. You cannot see anything that determines they're a sphere. Even Jupiter that they say rotates, it, I don't think it does. I've talked to two astronomers on this, and uh, I think it's a red spot that just moves. It's not attached. It just moves what across. About, like, Saturn's rings? Well, you don't see them moving, do you? All you see is a circle with two crescents. You don't see anything moving. So, well, I don't know. I don't know every answer, but I do know there's no curvature. Okay? So I'm going to ask questions, and I'm going to doubt everything they tell me until I know for sure. There's no curvature. Guilty until proven innocent. I like it. It's a good idea. They're not human. Humans should be innocent, not planets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying the humans that came up with the theories, they're guilty until proven innocent. I like it. Well, did you get a card? Anybody else have a question? No. Everything you see on the banners, everything you see on the banners is on the video when you go to this link. So you'll see that, except for the things that are not numbered. The things that are not numbered, I put on there myself. I, I actually designed the whole banners myself. So if the earth is flat, what's underneath it? What's what? If the earth is flat, what's underneath it? I don't know. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna say it's a turtle or an elephant or something like that and Yeah? I don't know. Maybe it could just be the tree roots. So so this, this is a genuine question. Oh, really? Uh, Very interesting. Gravity, what's it generated by? Or you, you believe it's pushed down. So there's no Yeah, I don't think we're being down. pulled to the center of a ball. Were you here for the Bonneville Salt Flats explanation? No. Okay, so if there is something called gravity then and there's curvature, then there would be no Bonneville salt flats. Because it was a lake that dried up, an ancient lake, okay? And there would have to be curve, and then the bottom would be curved. So there's no curve. It's flat. That's why they call it the salt flats. Oh. Right? Yes. Yeah. And then look up Solar de Uni down in Bolivia. That's 100 miles by 80 miles. Look up Suez Canal, which is 100 miles of flat. And then uh, Lake Baikal in Siberia, 400 miles of flat. So then are there layers of the earth? Like, is there a crust mantle like, for We only dug a hole eight feet, eight miles deep. Eight miles deep. That's all I know. Okay. I'm not going past there. It's like, so, okay. So in theory, if there is like a See, bottom layer, theory. There, there would have to be a, th there would have to be a bottom layer, right? There'd have to be somewhere where it stops. Minecraft. Right. Okay. I mean, well, if, if it's flat, there has to be a bottom to anything. So. I guess. There has to be a three-dimensional like, there's, there's a bottom to this. There's a bottom to this card. There has to be some sort of bottom. Okay. What is it? Exactly. So if it is, you know, molten metal, is the bottom just hard? Like can you hit on it like a like an iron? See bottom? now you're. I don't. I don't know. 
Your guess is Have as you good asked as mine. Elon Musk to go up into space and check for yourself. Elon Musk? Yeah, he's yeah. a huge Oh my gosh. <laughs> He put a Tesla car in space, right? He also smoked weed with Joe Rogan. Uh, do you guys? What did he say? He smoked weed with Joe Rogan. Yeah. Oh, Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so really, what uh, what is a Tesla car in space? Why didn't the tires explode? I mean, did you know that they took off the rearview mirror? Did you know that? That's crazy. Why would they do that? Traffic in space. I mean, do you really think it's up there? Do you think they they'd put a? Need to merge in space. Come on, come on. Isn't that crowded up Come there? on, come on. Now here's another thing. Space is there. Space is supposedly a vacuum, right? So how do you have a pressure system next to a vacuum without a physical barrier? It can't happen. You have to have a physical barrier. There is. What? The spaceship. <laughs> Ionic barrier. Did you want one of these cards? Right. Can I have one of those for you? Sure. So do you believe if you can't touch something, it's not physical? <laughs> if you can't touch something? As in if you can't hold it in your hand. Because you know that what we're standing in right now is our air and it is our atmosphere. It's then contained by an ionic, ionic barrier thousands of miles up. That but that's gravity. The sun's radiation. That's gravity, though. It's not gravity. It's not gravity. Gravity's a pool. So then how are we protected from the sun's radiation? Well, and that has been. The, the sun is very close and very small. Okay. Yeah, well, yes. It's much larger than that. Okay, that's, this is, our model says the sun is close and small. Okay. It still gives off radiation. The sun's radiation and uh, the ozone, I don't believe there's an ozone. Not, not much anymore, but... At all. It never existed. I think there's a dome. Okay. But we've a dome. Like the Stephen King. Lights, so, um, like, uh, what's that guy? Uh, they, they mock it all the time. Truman Show. Yes. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Like that. So, so, so the dome protects us from the sun's radiation. No, the sun, I think, is within the dome. So then what are we being protected? Now, some people in the flat earth community is believe the, the sun flat? is outside of the dome. Okay. And it's a projection. I but think, see, I think, I think it's a filament. A pretty good one. I think it's a filament. And the free flowing electricity is what energizes it. So that's my theory on that. Okay. But I, I still know that there's no curvature. I don't care about it. the curvature, that's probably not. Well, if, if there's no curvature, you have to question what you're being taught, right? My question yes. is Okay, so do that. So, what? What does your ruler here prove? This is the curvature formula. This isn't a ruler, it's a level, spirit level, right? right. See? So the, the eight inches times a mile squared, that's uh, the curvature formula for the ball that you live, you say you live on? Yeah. Okay, Third. that I don't think we live on that. We don't, actually we don't. So, why so they like these are all the uh, mile, three miles, you get six feet, you know, all that. You can't find curvature anywhere. Well, so I'm sorry, what is all that? Does not there? exist. Miles, six miles is 24 feet. 10 miles, 66 feet. Wait, so if I walk 66 feet in that direction, I walk 10 miles? Huh? You said 66 feet is 10 miles. Curvature, 66 feet down. What about six? When you are on a ball, when you're on a ball, however far out you go, you go out 10 miles, it got to drop 66 feet. It's got to drop. Oh, okay. That's uh, curvature. I thought we were going 66 feet. equal six to feet. a 10 miles, yeah, and I was going to be like, yeah, yeah. that's going to make my work that makes more a lot easier. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm still having slightly a panic attack. If the sun is inside of our dome, then like we're going to get fried like pretty soon. Like, no. Like, soon no, 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 right no, 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 no. It's I'm, it's very <laughs> small. Well, it, it's still gets and it's not it's not a bo it's not a uh, ball of uh, burning plasma. What is it? It's a filament. Like a That's ball. my like a theory. Edison invented the sun. My theory is it's a <laughs> filament. Like, like, like a light bulb. Uh, if, if uh, you're saying that Tesla, I mean, uh, nope. Edison made the flat earth. I'm saying so, that Edison made the sun if it's a filament. No. So if the earth who has made, been who here made, for billions who made the of years. Sun. I'm sorry? If the earth has been here for billions of years and the light bulb I don't believe it's been billions of years, years either. I'm right I don't believe that, but what's your question? Well, the Earth has been here for billions of years. That's people. your, that's your yeah, belief. That that's your belief. That's a scientific fact. That's your belief. You okay. can't prove it. Okay. okay. Wait, so why so do you have a question? 
Okay. No, I guess not. I have a question. <laughs> Since you're invalidating the question. Okay. Why, why are they lying about it? The kings don't want the serfs to read. Did you know that? Why don't the kings want the serfs to read back in the ancient? Then they can rise up. He's smart. So think of that. Educated people are hard to control. This is totally about control. They want to control us. If they can. So then why do they let us open up? colleges dedicated to science where we research our planet because they tell you the science that they want you to know they put it in a textbook so wait they? they put it in a textbook they and they test you on that textbook and if you don't tell them back who's what they, they? Who is this yeah, 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 yeah. the powers that be Which is? whoever they are the kings didn't you know there's like 13 bloodlines who are still in power you, elections don't matter they select who they want. Did you know? Did you know that the United States is a corporation? Did you know the United States is a corporation? Actually, yes. Okay. So, so they don't care who you elect. They select a president. That's about voting. They put the. It's a board of directors. I can take that. So, so far, government is run by money. It does need money to run. So, so far, you're good. And that is what we were taught. So, if we were taught that, do you not believe that? No, I, I think it is that way, but it shouldn't. says the government is It should not be that way. 17. 1781, that's when it was changed into a corporation. Originally, it was not supposed to be that way. Did you know when you go into a courtroom, the, the gold fringe on the flag means that it's maritime law. We don't have rights in a courtroom. Look into that. Look into that. You are too young. You are very too young, really, to have okay, been in any serious trouble. Because age does not matter for this argument. I have a court hearing for killing you. Excuse me. Look into maritime law. What does it mean? And the bar? That it all has like secret meanings. Do you know what maritime? I have a question. Yes, it means that the captain of the ship can make it up any way he wants. He is God on that ship. Like the judge is the uh, god of the courtroom. How well, that's what it means. Okay, actually, my definition is from it, from from the Oxford English Dictionary, so that's probably not true. I've actually just been. Uh, I'll just look into it. Statement. Just look into it. I have a question. Okay, what? What power do we have knowing the <laughs> Earth is flat? What power do you hold higher? We only have power if we all get together and unite and say we're not doing this anymore. No, what what they do? Why would they lie to us? What power does it give? What the point? If we know the Earth's flat. Like you're saying they're trying to control us. What, like, advantage is knowing The world would be a lot different. How? Please explain how it would be I, I can't explain that to so you. So you can't explain how it differs. Why does it matter if the Earth is flat and if it it's It doesn't round? matter. Why does Why it, it matter? matter Why would they lie for something that doesn't matter? Yeah. I, I have a question. <laughs> Why are you here? What does it make any difference if the world is flat and the world is round? What is the difference? I want to know. How does this truly really affect us? I want to know. I want to know. Okay. You know where you're going to find that answer? Right in there. You're in my gonna, heart? You're going to find that. In my that. heart, I'm going to find out. What you you cannot... <laughs> Nobody can tell you that answer, young man. You're going to have to figure it out. Then how are you going to tell me? What? What about the seasons? Like, people are always educated that the seasons are caused because the earth rotates. And it's tilted. That's why they're told it's the seasons. But the sun goes from the Tropic of Cancer to Equator. It moves around. And then it gets down to Capricorn. So and then the it moves is back. Whole, like, why is the whole like if we stay there. in the room and put a light bulb on the top, isn't everything at the bottom? This is the seasons right here. There's Cancer, Equator, Capricorn, and then it moves like this. It only illuminates part, but it's. It's a small light. 
It's a I small can light. A big, like, room of Did you know light. two miles away there's a light on? Can you see it? Screen. No. I can't see two miles. No. Be, no. D let, let's be smart about this. All right. So this it's, is in theory now. If I can see two no, miles. No. No. It's the not a ball. theory. If if there is a light, if far enough away, you won't be able to see it. Yeah, because it effectively runs out of its energy. Did you ever drive in a fog? Yes. Okay, stretch that fog out, right. and you won't see very far. But that's because there's really? particles in my way. It's not like yes. a clear view. Yes. Right. But so yes. then, if it's a light and it rotates, how come like the like let's say the North Pole, it has seas like it's yearly like there's light like times in the day or not in the year where it has like 23 hours of darkness. But if the light wrote like 24. How does, 24 hours. Okay, and there's times that it has 24 like hours light. Yes. So does it? Yeah. Does this light bulb go up and like rotate up and down, or does it like with the season change? Doesn't it like? So like for one season it'll be up towards the center, and then the next season it moves down and keeps rotating. The sun moves around. Yes. I. I okay. It goes this way. Wherever it's close, closest to, it puts that heat and light on the surface. Okay. So it just moves around and around and around. I. It goes, it goes from Cancer to the equator. So it does move down. Yes, it moves. It moves. Yes, and when it... Did you learn all this information? Like, not you, correct? We have a very large flat Earth community. We have science. We have scientists in our community. Who said that? There was a documentary on Vice. Really? And and who was the uh, put? Who put that out? Vice. 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 Yes. Well, who is Vice? Are they truth tellers? I mean, how do you know that? Yeah, they filmed documentaries. I mean, well, I've seen Vice. Then how come? How come at the conference last year there were six hundred people? I highly doubt that. I was there. Okay. Anyway, where like where is your source? You know, you can't face. But then don't believe. It. You don't have to believe really anything I'm saying. Not at all. Don't Can believe any of it. Something? No. <laughs> okay, tell anyway. Telling people that they're young and dumb and trying to